you know, um, in the next five to ten years in general. Yeah, look, I think I think blockchain as advanced database management and as like an underlying infrastructural layer of the internet is inevitable. I think cryptocurrency because of blockchain is also inevitable. I also look at like some of these major zeitgeists and catalysts from macroeconomic and macro political uh, uh, externalities that are creating the inevitability of digital currency and decentralization. Um, I've been I've been um, a crypto maxi, um, you know, a Bitcoin holder for uh, for for almost twelve years now. Um, you know, I've been I've been a, an absolute fanatic of Ethereum and utility tokens and chains um, since uh, you know since 2017. And um, <clears throat> at this point, like, it's not fair to ask someone like me because it's become a core part of my identity and like my my you know my my ethos, right? My my philosophy on life in general. Um, it really also feeds into like my anti-authoritarianism, which is like kind of like a like a challenging, like dark, uh, it's like a dangerous place to go. Right. Uh, but it really like, it really supports like that, like that there's like that confirmation bias. Um, look, I'm super, I'm super bullish on, um, on people operating intellectually and independently and self-regulating. Um, I think that the nation states and governments will continue to present serious problems, uh, for that, ethos and those philosophies, uh, but also just for citizens and persons in general. Times are different. And I think that, um, you know, I think that what the nation state was 50 years ago isn't what it is, isn't what it is today. Um, I think that when you look back historically on things like uh, feudalism and chivalry and, uh, you know, we, we kind of laugh at some of these like antiquated uh, um, cultural phenomenons. Um, and I really think that patriotism, and I hate to say this because this makes me sound like a cynic, patriotism in the nation state um, probably won't exist in 50 years the way that it, that it did 50 years ago or that it even does today. Um, there will always be, you know, the, the Luddites, the neo-Luddites that hold on to what was. Um, but I think we need to embrace the age of sovereignty. We need to embrace the fact that travel and communication is easier now than it ever was um you know you like you're in dubai um i travel uh you know like a, a probably 180 to 200 days out of out of the year um you know i'm rarely i'm rarely at home and it's because the world's become so accessible and what does that mean it means that the like the nation state in the home doesn't play the same role today that it did people can be free people can be sovereign and we often live and govern ourselves by the rules of like seven different jurisdictions at any given time right it's like i personally have exposure um to to, to multiple countries and multiple continents in terms of like where my businesses are, are established where my homes are right like where i spend my time and um and it's because of that that like people are gonna people are going to become more and more intolerant of the idea of prescribing to a set rule, a, you know, a, a specific set of rules that were determined by geographic location. Um, when that happens and when that becomes more prolific, uh, that, that general like anti-authoritarianism, right, maybe, becomes more, more prolific, um, the only outlets are going to be decentralized currencies. People will not want to keep their money tied to, uh, to a geographic jurisdiction. Right. Um, I keep, I would rather keep my money on chain than keep it in a bank. Right. Like yeah. I've been doing it for years and it serves me just fine. Like, yeah. and I think more and more people as they become comfortable with it, will see that. I think the future of crypto and the future of blockchain, the future of emerging technologies and things that we haven't even thought of is extremely bright. Um, you can't, you like, you will not stifle the evolution of like the expansion of the human mind, um, and, and technological innovation.